Hello and welcome to a new video. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and in this video I am painting a simple daisy. I'm going to quickly go over the materials. I am using my Winsor & Newton watercolour brushes, my Montmartre watercolour set, my medium sized Chinese brush, masking tape, and my 300 GSM Montmartre watercolour pad. So going into this video, I didn't think too much about how I was going to paint, but all I knew was that I wanted to paint a Garzania, which is this beautiful African daisy. So if you're trying this out, I'd encourage you to do whatever you feel and not to overthink if it will turn out how you imagined, which I continually have to remind myself so let's just chill and paint together. Before I start, I like to tape down the sides of my page so that it doesn't warp if my page gets quite wet. I did reuse this masking tape so it was already less sticky so I didn't have to worry about making it less sticky to prevent it tearing the page. I knew that I wanted this daisy to be orange as the photo I took of these flowers was bright orange which led me to wanting to paint it. I wanted the colours to be more muted ironically because I wanted it to be more calm and mellow initially so hence the soft colours and loose strokes. When I paint the petals, I use my Chinese brush as it's quite chunky and so it makes it easier to get those large strokes. I start the petal from the center of the flower and then drag the petal outwards and adjusting the shape of the petals to my liking, working my way around the center, painting more petals as I go. I use the tip of my brush for more added details to give a bit more texture to the petals. I later decided I wanted to have loose splatters of colour around the daisy, adding enough water to my brush to move the turquoise paint around the page and keeping it quite faint. The bristles of the Chinese brush are loose so to do more free spirited strokes made it a lot easier to paint this background. I also added orange to the background so there wasn't just orange in one space of the painting. I use turquoise because I've been obsessed with the colour lately and the balance of warm contrasting with a cool tone helps the orange to stand out from the background. Then I added yellow for the centre and used a warm brown for the stem and green for the leaves. Once I had painted the stem and leaves, I then decided I didn't want it to be so harsh and made a desperate attempt to fade it more into the background and adding more browns to the background.
Then to put my mind off the mess that was the stem and leaves, I distracted myself by adding more red and browns to the petals, giving them more detail, but not going overboard with it. I added more brown to the stem and leaves to keep the green faint as it stood out more than I wanted it to and so I changed it slightly so that it was more unison with the flower. Although I may not have been completely satisfied with this painting, I still wanted to show this painting as although I aim for my tutorials to be informative, I also want other beginners like myself to know that it doesn't always work out how you imagined, but it's okay. With the video sped up, it may look effortless and well thought out, but behind the camera, I am second guessing myself constantly forgetting to just relax, loosen up, and just enjoy the process. So don't worry, we are all learning and improving, but also just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I post a new video every Saturday. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.